everyone, Miss Sam back from the library with another First Page Friday. So today I'm going to be reading the first page of Damselfly by Chandra Prasad. I chose this book for a couple different reasons, uh, one of them being it's not super long. And I'm sure there are some of you out there that don't really enjoy very long books. Um, and personally, I don't read super long books. That's just me personally. There might be some of you like that out there as well. Um, so I thought I'd give one a try that's a little bit shorter. I also chose it because um, while it's not a retelling per se, it is reminiscent of The Lord of the Flies, which I thought was an interesting concept for the author to use. Uh, the Lord of the Flies is, of course, a very famous work. Um, if you've heard of it and liked it, uh, you'll probably like this story too. Um, even if you haven't, uh, you might like this story if you like uh, survival stories, uh, adventure, exciting, gripping kind of stories. Uh, I think you'll like this one. So let's jump into the first page. All right, chapter one. If you've never held a fake eye in your hand, I'll tell you what it looks like. It's made of glass and feels cool and heavy in your palm, like a big shooter marble or a stone from a cold stream. It's not a perfect circle, but egg-shaped. If you tap on it, you'll hear it's hollow inside. The black pupil is painted on, and so is the iris. As for the white part, it's not truly white. Tiny squiggles of pink give it a bloodshot look. I clenched the fake eye in my fist so hard my hand hurt. This I knew, and nothing else. I had no idea how I'd gotten the eye in the first place, why my clothes were dirty and soaking wet, or what I was standing on. Why was it so green and squishy? Looking around, I didn't know where my old world had gone. The brick, slate, and stone of Drake Rosemont Preparatory Academy were nowhere to be found. I took a tentative step, then winced. I was aching everywhere. I had to vomit, too, but I didn't think about that as I looked around, mouth open like a dead fish. I was in what looked to be a jungle. The vegetation was thick, lush, impenetrable as a wall. I pushed away vines, mossy branches, and leaves the size of manhole covers. I closed my eyes against prickers and thorns, but when the branches snapped back like clawed hands, I opened them again. So, there you go. Our main character, uh, her name is Samantha. She wakes up in the middle of the jungle and has no idea where her classmates are, where she is, what she's gonna do. Uh, so if you want to find out what happens, how they survive, what happens to them, check this one out, I think you'll like it. So thank you for watching um, and we'll see you next time. So see you later, bye-bye. <laughs>